Hi everybody, my name's Gareth and I'm an ex-teacher who now works for CleverTouch. I'm part of the training team and I go around doing demos of our CleverTouch screens as well as our presentation software, Lynx Whiteboard, which I'm going to show you very quickly now. So just going to go in here. At BET, we're showing the top tips of why we love Lynx. We're doing 12 across the day in three separate shows. And some of the reasons why we love Lynx are because it's a cross-platform app. When you buy a CleverTouch screen, you get the Lynx Whiteboard app on your screens, but you can also have it on all of your tablets and all of your MacBooks, Chromebooks, um, tablets, and uh, Android and Apple devices as well. It's for front of the class use, therefore, but also for the children to follow along on their devices as well. It also comes with its own Lynx cloud, but you can have a back door into your Google Drive, OneDrive and Dropbox and so on and you can create shared organizations as well so that you can very quickly create content and share it with your colleagues. You can also open all of your historical files with links so Google Docs and Google Slides will open up in a PDF format, uh, Smart Notebook Active Inspire files will open up fully editable, PowerPoints and Word documents can be opened in there as well and so many links features that you can add on to the top. You can also create multi-branching presentations on any slide. So unlike a PowerPoint, which is very linear from A to B, you can really take your students on a journey. So if we just go to the next page. So you can see here, I've got an extended page. I can very quickly zoom in on any page. Links comes with a range of links activities, uh, science and math simulations. Um, a, a way of screen sharing wirelessly with a range of devices and it comes with its own screen recorder so presentations that you make you can actually talk your way through them and then play them back to the students and you've also got a range of effects and pens that you can uh, use when you're uh, de deploying links so if I start presenting here I can tap on these icons and go through this nice little presentation So we've been showing lots of top tips at Lynx and there's so many different tools that I'd like to showcase. So if I just drop in here to one of my other presentation software and I stop presenting, one of the nice features that teachers love is our shape split. As I run my hand over this circle, I can split this into fractions. And when I stop and let go, I've got these separate pieces now. And I can go into any one of these pieces and I can edit them very quickly and change them. So it's a really nice, simple tool. If I just demonstrate again, with a rectangle, I can go down and across. And when I let go, I've split the shapes. I can group them all back together again. And very quickly, I've been able to create a table where I can type into there. And so teachers love tools like this for both maths and literacy reasons. If we go to uh, another page, you can see the kind of things that we can make in links. So we can have any of the resources on a, on a page on a replica. So we can pull resources out like counters, such as these maths uh, place value tools here. Or we can have editable text boxes as well that we can pull out. Here's an example of the link screen recorder I was telling you about. So we can uh, zoom in on that page so all the students can see whatever it is that maybe we want to play in the classroom on a link. And we can go back out as well. There's all sorts of interactive math tools. So here I'm modeling the protractor. So very simply, I can just move these nodes and I can stamp on the angles that we're uh, measuring. Okay. You can also create sound buttons. So if you're working with uh, little ones learning their phonics or maybe uh, language departments in secondary schools, you can make sound buttons. So I don't know if you're picking that up there. But you can also create some really fantastic layered images. So here I'm peeling away layers of the human body, but also I can go on to this eye and we can peer into the next layer of the human body underneath as well. So there's so many different ways that we can present using links. There's a media search built in that makes creating things like this so quick and easy.
So if we're dressing this night, for example, children can come up and have a go, but they can see where the images have to be returned to as well. Or maybe all you want to do is use the screen for a bit of role play or drama so we can act out scenes from famous plays here. Um, so there's so much you can do with Lynx. It comes with um, a range of tools and pens and the best news of all is that it's totally free to everyone that wants to use it and make your school a Lynx whiteboard community.